Hey, so I want to do a video on Nano Banana, uh, which was the code name for Google's Gemini 2.5 Flash uh, image engine. So uh, you want to try it out, you can try it out right now. And as of uh, August 28th at 8 o'clock at night on the West Coast, this works. So uh, you're going to go to lmarina.ai, and I'll put a link to this in the, uh, in the, in the description. Uh, change this battle to direct chat, and then change your engine to... Uh, Gemini 2.5 Flash. And now you've got direct line to the uh, Google Gemini 2.5 Flash, which is cool. And as of right now, there's no limits on this that I can see. Uh, I haven't gotten locked out of it yet. I've done a couple tests and things. Um, but uh, yeah, so what I want to do is I want to talk about a couple, uh, just specifically about photo restoration and photo manipulation. So uh, I'm going to do some photo colorization. I'm going to do photo repair uh, and replace items in the photo. I'm going to match poses, match outfits, and then we're going to do like a fun experiment at the end. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I'm generating an image. So I just click the image thing there and I'm going to hit upload image. And I've got this picture of my mom and her graduation. And mom graduated several years ago. So this is a black and white photo. Um, now this is what the photo looks like. Let me just open it big so you can see here. So there's there's mommy right out of high school, ready to face, face the world. Um, the photo is a little bit tilted because this is a picture of a picture. Um, but that's what it looks like. So that's what we're working with. So what I want to do here is um, make this photo uh, in color as if it were shot with an iPhone. Uh, blonde hair, blue eyes. All right, let's see what it does here. So uh, now also their servers are getting pounded right now. So if we hit errors or anything, I might have to regenerate a couple times. So uh, let's see what happens here. It's pretty quick. That was very quick. Uh, so here's the picture. They colorized it. I don't know if it looks like it was shot on iPhone, but it's, it's pretty clean. Um, now, I've not sped this video up. This was real time what you saw. You saw what I saw. Uh, I'm going to save that image. Uh, I'm going to save this as mom colorized. No, don't put pictures of your mother on the internet is the other pro tip. But anyway, I just want to show that as an example. I probably should have asked her first if that's cool, but I'm sure she'll forgive me. She's my mom. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, I'm going to do a photo of myself as a kid. Um, so this was shot in the 70s. This picture, uh, this is before I had a beard. This is what I looked like. So if you've got any cute kids right now that look like this, this is what they're going to look like someday maybe. Ugly. Uh, so here I am. There's some washout here. This is the 70s, so there's a lot of like reddish tint to this photo. So I'm going to try to prompt that out of there. Uh, let's see. Uh, clean up this photo and color correct it so it looks like it was shot on a modern Sony camera. You probably tell it what kind of camera and everything, but let's see. Let's see what this does here. Again, not speeding this up. This is the real time. You're seeing it as fast as I'm seeing it. That's pretty quick. Uh, so it took some of the red out. It's a little blurry. Um, it also, yeah, it's not terrible. It's not terribly good either. Let's see if we can sharpen it a little bit. Um, I wonder if I can just keep going with this conversation. Uh, sharpen the image and uh, bring out the fine details. Let's see. Sometimes this will give you some completely unrelated image. <laughs> yes, like that. Okay, let me try this again. I'm going to take this. I'm going to copy the image. I'm going to paste the image, grab this, copy it, paste it. There we go. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe it was searching the web. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's see. The jokes are free, by the way. Um, did that really do anything? I don't think that really did anything. Uh, now, let's, let's try one more time. Copy image, paste it here. 
sharpen the details and take out the blurriness. There's probably a better way to say that. Something went wrong. Let's retry. This is what I was talking about with the servers getting pounded right now. Oh, that's a lot finer. It's a little washed out a little bit. A little smoothie. Yeah, it's passable. I mean, that's me. That's what I look like. I look like I'm greasy there. I probably was greasy there. Um, yeah, it's all right. Okay. All right, on to the next one. Let's do a new chat here. Um, just to kind of clear the, clear the everything. All right, so now this one, I'm gonna do, uh, this is gonna be a fun one. I'm gonna grab, I've got a picture of Brad Pitt and Abe Lincoln. So I'm gonna take, uh, this is the image of Abe Lincoln, right? There he is, Honest Abe, that's really him, Honest. Uh, and then Brad Pitt from uh, Legends of the Fall, which if you haven't seen it, check it out. Older film, but it's pretty solid. Very long, but very good. Um, okay, so what am I going to do with this? Uh, uh, let's see. Um, put Abe Lincoln in Brad Pitt's outfit. Let's see what this does. I have too many, too many T's. I spelled outfit like pit. <laughs> All right. His outfit. Let's see. Now what I'm expecting is it'll take that shirt and put it on Abe Lincoln. It'll stay black and white. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that's pretty that's pretty good. Although it looks like it just took the pattern from that shirt. That's not the shirt, that's just the pattern. Uh let's try this again. Let's put these up here again. Um colorize the photo of Abe Lincoln and put him in the exact outfit that Brad Pitt has on in the second image. All right, let's see how this goes. Yay, technology. Let's see what happens. Could be cool, could be a train wreck. It's just Abe Lincoln. Let's try one more time. Uh, Brad Pitt, Abe Lincoln. Give Abe the outfit that Brad has on. That's pretty, I'm, well, it's conversational, so it may, maybe it'll know. Oh, I've reached my rate limit. What? Try again in 47 minutes. Wah, wah. Okay, I have a solution for that. Let's see, let's make a new, um, let's see, hold on a second. I'm gonna pause just for a moment. All right, so I'm over here in Google Gemini. Uh, let me add some files. I'm going to upload my files. There's Abe. There's Brad. Put them in here. We've got 2.5 flash. I want to create an image. Uh, put Abe in Brad's outfit. I don't think I'll hit my limit now. I'm an ultra subscriber, so we'll see what happens. This could all end in tears. Just a sec, generating image. I do like the other interface. That's just Abe Lincoln. That's not good. Let's try something else here. Um, pose Abe Lincoln exactly like Brad Pitt in the second image. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. Gemini can make mistakes, so double check it. That's what it says at the bottom of the screen, so that's what we're doing. It's thinking about it, it's thinking about it. That's pretty good. He's even got the coffee cup. He's not looking at the camera. Brad was looking at the camera. So it's not exactly the same. And I think Brad was in a standard chair, leaning back. Abe's just sitting in the chair. But that's pretty good. That's the shirt that he had. Um, let's try something else here. Uh, make him look at the camera. Let's see. 
Maybe he'll just put a camera in front of his face. Let's see what happens. Generating the image. Yeah, he's looking at the camera now. That's pretty good. Very relaxed Abe. That's and he, that's before he became president. He's back in Illinois. He just cut down some trees. He's taking a break. Photographer came in, snapped the shot. Okay. Um, let's do this. Let's um, colorize this image. It should look like it was shot on an iPhone. Maybe I should say Google Pixel since this is Gemini. Let's see what happens. Generating image. Well, it did colorize it, but it's really over the top saturated colorization. I don't know what's up with the, just the brown on top and then the gray all around, but whatever, okay. Okay, passable, passable. Um, let's do one more thing here. Let me upload these files again. Abe Brad Pitt. Pose Brad Pitt like Abe Lincoln. Let's see what happens. It might just put Brad Pitt's head on Abe Lincoln's body. That would be strange. Just a sec. Look at how much they've saved by not spelling out the word second. <laughs> All right, so what it did is it, it looks like it just gave Abe Brad's hairstyle. But not even like Brad from this picture. It's just like more modern Brad Pitt. Uh, All right, that's, eh. I don't know how passable that is. Let, let's try one more. I want to try this one more time because I got a good result before. Before I started recording, um, pose Abe Lincoln exactly like Brad Pitt is posed and colorize him as if he were also in that film. I don't know if that makes sense. We'll see. So what I'm expecting is it'll put Lincoln in that exact same pose, colorize everything. Hopefully it rolls up his sleeves too, because that's a cool look. If you're gonna wear a long sleeve shirt, gentlemen, roll up your sleeves, it looks badass. Instead of just bad or ass. You need both of those. Both of those elements need to be there. All right, just a sec, it's thinking. Generating the image. That's just Brad Pitt. I hate when it does that. It's done that a few times to me where it'll just get confused and just show me one of the images. It's like the timer ran out and it's like, uh, here you go. Okay, let's try this one more time. Maybe uploading them each time is not good. Uh, pose Abe exactly like Brad Pitt. Colorize the image. Um, is in the second image. Maybe if I specify a little bit. Pose Abe from the first image exactly like Brad Pitt is in the second image. Colorize the image. Okay. That makes sense, right? I think that was a good way to word it. <sighs> this will be worth every penny. Once it's done, because that's a Lincoln joke. He's on the penny. So I'm linking the penny to this project. Anyway, sorry. This can't generate fast enough. Okay. Generating image. What's it going to be? Well, that's... Ugh. <laughs> I'm almost sorry I did that. It's almost like face-off. Uh, where they just like, and then onto the other guy. All right. Well, that's, I don't know how good that is. Let's try a new chat. Uh, no, thanks. I'm not going to try that now. Let me close that. Let's see. Collapse menu. I want to make an image, create image for two five flash, right? Yeah. 
two five flash, uh, create image, no thanks. Upload files. Okay, so for this one, let me see how it does with replacement. So this is a picture of me and Goofy at Disneyland. It looks like this. That's Goofy. That's me. I am Goofy a little bit too, but you know what I mean. Okay. Replace Goofy with Mickey. Now, I don't know what it's going to do here. It might just flat out refuse. It might know that this is a theme park character and find a Mickey that is a theme park character and replace it. It might just fail. I don't know. Disney lawyers, if you're watching, take notes. Let's see what happens. That's really good. That's Mickey, all right. Oh, boy. Yeah, that looks great. Good job, Mickey. Yeah, and there's Goofy. That's really good. Um, okay. Put... Goofy back in looking over the top of Mickey. Let's see what happens. It would help if I spelled Mickey right. There's a song and everything. Two versions of it. I didn't, I didn't spell it right. Maybe that'll help me get around the IP issue. Ugh, he's like creepily stalking. Okay. That's really good. I mean, that looks authentic like it looks like he's right there with me i did not get to see mickey this was in the disneyland hotel i did a talk down there in 2019 i think 2018 yeah cool okay that's pretty good all right let me let me do a new uh image now so i've got this older image of myself this is me slugging down espresso at an event in san diego years ago i think this was during uh it was either during comic-con or e3 or something um, okay, so let me upload that. Upload files. Um, turn this image into a CD cover from the 90s for a ska group called, uh, what should we call the ska group? How about uh, Happy Sunshine? Make sure this is going to be a long one. I'm I'm kind of pushing limits here. Uh, turns into an Im it turns the image into a CD cover from the '90s for a ska group called Happy Sunshine. Uh, put the image on a CD case. The CD case looks weathered and worn. There is a parental advisory sticker on it it is on the floor of a carpeted room oh, let me spell advisory correctly there we go advisory is on the floor of a carpeted room at golden hour okay so that's a lot i just gave it an image of me and told it to do all this stuff so what i'm expecting is to see it in a plastic cd case let's see what it does that's also pre-beard. I thinned my face out a little bit, though, from that other image that you saw of me earlier. Happy Sunshine, Parental Advisory, Explicit Lyrics. That's really good for what I gave it. It cut me out. Wow. That's really solid. Happy Sunshine, the album. That looks like a ska album. There's some brass there. Cool. Yeah, I mean, you can see this is pretty powerful stuff. Like, uh, I, this, this is all real time. I didn't cut away other than when I paused it to load up the uh, the Gemini page because I ran out of the generation and the other thing. But, uh, yeah, you can try this now on LM Arena. Um, I also have a, a Google Ultra account, so I, I was able to do it in here. But, uh, yeah, that's really impressive. Uh, so what have, you, what have you done with this so far? What, what kind of things have you made or... Uh, cool use cases do you see for this? Go ahead and drop those in the comments below. I'm supposed to do that. It's like a call to action. That's what that's called. Uh, that's what we call it in the, in the biz, in the YouTube biz. So anyway, be sure to like and subscribe. Ring that bell for updates. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to see what you make. See ya.